What if I told you there was a keyboard on the market right now that gives you the same movement as a controller player? Would you believe me? What's up, Pro Guides fam? I'm Cody, and today I'm gonna be telling you about a keyboard that will change the game of competitive Fortnite forever. Let's get into it. And when we say that this keyboard will change the game of competitive Fortnite forever, we really mean forever, ever? You know what I'm saying, dog? Forever, dude. Oh my God, forever. But before we get into this video, I have a question for y'all. Besides for better movement and aim assist, do you think that there are any other advantages to playing controller? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I'm confident in saying that some of you guys are definitely going to consider switching inputs after this video. The best way for that transition to go as smoothly as possible is for you guys to head on over to ProGuides.com where our coaches can help you get better faster. I'm telling you guys, they are legit. Alrighty then, now for this keyboard guys, where do we even begin? For one, this is by far the most broken keyboard the gaming world has ever seen. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Have you heard of the Razer Huntsman or Apex Pro TKL? Those are insane keyboards. But guys, I'm gonna let you finish. Just let me say one thing. When I tell you this keyboard is so good, it's borderline cheating, I am not kidding. This keyboard I'm talking about is the recently released Wooting TKL. You can get this keyboard in both the TKL size and with the number pad or maybe get them both. So what makes this keyboard so special? In order to understand this, we must first compare and contrast the two main Fortnite inputs, keyboard players and controller players. First, for keyboard and mouse players, many people argue that keyboard and mouse players are the ones at the advantage. Players that play on keyboard and mouse are able to build and edit at lightning speeds, as well as use their entire arm to hit insane flick shots. Let's look at a clip from Faze Martos. This is just one example of the pure speed keyboard and mouse players can reach. Martos is so fast that we have to slow this clip down significantly so we can even analyze it. First, we see that Martos is in a one vs one versus an opposing player who's actively taking his wall. In just a blink of an eye, Martos is able to hit a triple edit up, box his opponent like a fish I might add, and land a swift 200 pump. I know players like this might appear to be basic and easily replicable by controller players, but the lightning speed in which keyboard players can reach makes these plays nearly impossible for even the best controller players to match. On the other side of things, we have controller players. Similar to keyboard and mouse players, there are also two distinct advantages to playing controller. The first advantage is the movement in which controller players can achieve with an analog stick. Players who play on controller can move in 360 degrees with no issue, which is the same as double movement binds for keyboard and mouse players. Overall, this makes their movement seem silky smooth in comparison to most keyboard and mouse players. The other distinct advantage controller players have is aim assist. Now, I know most of us are extremely familiar with how broken aim assist can be, but here's a perfect example of just how overpowered aim assist is. In this clip, we see Extra Reet pull out his P90 and proceed to land four headshots in a row to eliminate two players within seconds. With this in mind, one could argue that since both have very distinct advantages over the others, then these two inputs are relatively equal. This is why this keyboard is so broken. Right now, it is two to two for advantages, but this keyboard evens up the movement odds, allowing keyboard players to have a huge advantage over their controller opposition. In Chapter 2 Season 4, Fortnite removed the option for keyboard players to use double movement binds. This means that keyboard players were no longer able to mimic controller movement. This was going to pose a huge challenge for keyboard and mouse players going into Chapter 2 Season 5 to try and keep up with controller players after essentially being nerfed in Season 4. This keyboard not only solves this problem entirely, but actually makes it easier for keyboard players. In the past, keyboard players had to either use macros or double movement binds to achieve controller-like movement. Now, it is simply built into the keyboard. With this keyboard, WASD operates exactly like a controller analog stick, giving keyboard and mouse players the same exact movement that controller players have. There is no changing of your binds and there is no analog stick. Keyboard players still hold every advantage they had, plus this controller movement. I don't know about you guys, but this seems like borderline cheating. This might turn into a huge problem for Epic Games. 
Fortnite, which has been a game where both inputs are relatively equal, might quickly turn into a one-sided race since the release of this keyboard. Some people might not even consider this keyboard legal to use in Fortnite, but what is Epic Games going to do? ban the keyboard? From our understanding, there is nothing in the terms of services or rules that would prohibit something like this. So I think it is safe to say this keyboard won't be going anywhere anytime soon. I can tell you one thing, I can definitely see every serious keyboard and mouse player picking up this keyboard immediately and start abusing it in upcoming tournaments. This brings us to a huge problem. Will this be the final straw for controller players to switch over to keyboard and mouse? Only time will tell. When we break down the numbers, keyboard and mouse players now have a three to one advantage over controller players compared to a relatively equal scale. With how good aim training programs and routines are these days, it shouldn't be a surprise if we see a wave of controller players pick up this keyboard and immediately transition to keyboard and mouse. I mean, think about it. The only advantage they even have left is aim assist and even Epic Games nerfed that a couple seasons ago. What other reason would they have to stay on controller? What do you guys think? Do you think we will see a wave of controller player switch? I think that might be the case. Honestly guys, I hope you have seen Titanic because this is just the tip of the iceberg. This keyboard is only $160, which is well within the budget of most serious competitive Fortnite players. Meaning that with no insane price tag, anyone and everyone is going to be picking it up. The bottom line is, if you can afford this keyboard, you need to get it. We can only speculate with what will happen in the near future with this keyboard. At the time of this video, the TKL version is sold out for one of the Switch types and on pre-order for the other. Clearly, there is a ton of hype revolving around it. So you have controller movement, better strafing ability, a ton of five-star reviews, and a price point of only $160. Man, I wish I had this on my Christmas list. But what do you guys think? Is this borderline cheating? Are we gonna see a huge shift of controller players move to keyboard and mouse? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if one of you guys do end up buying this, let me know what you think about it, okay? Hit me up, guys. I'll see you in the next one.